Welcome back to All Things EVM. Today, guys, I've got an opportunity for you in investments, not financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor, but this is an opportunity to get into one of the seed rounds that I'm actually invested in personally. And I'd like to show you how this works if you've never done this before yourself. Uh, I think this is a good one to get into. Again, not financial advice, guys, but this is an opportunity with Flex Labs which is a new perpetual dex that will be launched on the base chain it is a fork of hmx hmx was created based on the code uh, on gmx they made some improvements on the gmx code and now flex labs is moving the hmx code to the base chain and it is actually sponsored by hmx as well they're uh, partnering with them so there's not a they're not stealing their code or anything like that guys so let's get on into the pitch deck and then i'll show you how to get invested here so let's jump on into it uh, first and foremost, guys, I do want to say that this video is sponsored by Flex Labs. My boys, Crypto Stew, that I've met through the Elephant Money ecosystem, has uh, pitched this to me, and I have invested. Uh, minimum investment, guys, is $100. So if you want to uh, stick around and check out how to do that, we will, I will show you how to do that at the end of the video. Otherwise, if you want to jump into that right now without doing the uh, the research, I will link the uh, pitch deck below as well as a uh, ref link that you'll need to use at uh, checkout for your investment. Um, just a quick before I get into the pitch deck, the uh, terms is a six months cliff with an 18 uh, month vesting period. Um, it's linear vest, so you do get some of those tokens. However, during that linear vest, the uh, tokens that you're getting are um, going to be accruing some of the fees from the program. Uh, once As soon as the application is launched, uh, fees at TG fees will be uh, accumulated for those who are the token holders so um, even though you're a part of the vesting period you are still taking advantage of the yields that we're getting from the perpetuals decks so uh, without further ado here is the pitch deck guys uh, flex is uh, trading beyond limits a flex labs product uh, introducing the next generation of decentralized perpetual derivatives trading on the base chain um, this is a, uh, a, I love the team behind this guys. Uh, like I said, crypto stew, uh, trust this guy, uh, with, with some of the community involvement that I've been in with him. I think he's a great guy. He's, uh, the, these guys are skipping the, uh, VC side of things and going straight to, uh, individual investors, which I think is really great and really speaks well to the goals of, uh, this, this project. So we're not going to have a huge pump and dump with this guys like you see with some of the other VC invested uh, uh, investment opportunities out there. So that's why I'm getting into this. And, uh, um, you know, you should check it out and do your own research and decide for yourself. But uh, for traders and for liquidity providers, um, uh, if you know anything about GMX and HMX guys, there's the double side of this. Um, uh, you have the traders and the liquidity providers. Traders are able to uh, leverage trade long, short, these sorts of things and, uh, and gain from this. And then uh, liquidity providers are, uh, you know, the counter trade to the traders, right? But um, any profits or uh, anytime uh, the liquidation happens or the traders lose money, the uh, profits go to the liquidity providers or the majority of that does to the liquidity providers. Um, so key features here is uh, flex trade, uh, leverage trading with up to a thousand X leverage over three asset classes, crypto, Forex, and commodities, which uh, uh, is getting more popular guys. I think this is fantastic. Lots of volume, lots of, um, of trading going on in these uh, specific uh, types of trade platforms, crypto, uh, Forex, and commodities. And then Flex LP market making passive pool based liquidity prov uh, provisioning, which benefits from the majority of protocol fee revenue, which is uh, why I like LPing personally. I did a lot of LPing with GLP uh, last cycle and through the, uh, the, the bear market, actually. It was a great time to make some money in the LPs there. Um, CEX like user experience in the base chain. Yes, base chain is very efficient. Um, and I'll get into this a little bit later, but there is no uh, fees. There's no gas fees uh, that's going to be a part of Flex, which is a huge deterrent for other uh, perpetuals, DEXs on chain. Um, the fees are rather low, 
with Flex, and that's going to be awesome moving forward. Yeah, gasless trading and order management, which is gonna be huge. So um, let's see, let's just run through this real quick. Progressive web application on uh, one click and on chart trading, account management, algorithm algorithmic trading, um, our Python SDK API allows traders to use Flex Perpetuals as their preferred platform for al algorithmic trading. Uh, cross margin collateral, no need to uh, allocate capital to specific trades. Share margin across all positions, allowing more flexible and greater capacity. I'll get into that a little bit more with this pitch deck. Um, Flex liquidity pool is the FLP or similar to GLP or HLP that you've seen with, uh, with um, the... Uh, GMX or HMX, right? Um, so FLP stakers earn the majority of share protocol. Um, when traders win, the profits are paid out from the FLP, but when the traders lose, their losses are added to the FLP. Uh, net exposure of FLP is close to zero. Um, so really, you know, the history of perpetual decks is, is, the, is that more people lose than win, and that's the um, value prop for FLP or providing liquidity to these perpetual DEXs is the house always wins, right? When doing long leveraging sort of uh, degen application, um, if you're over leveraged, guys, you're going to get liquidated or you're going to lose money. And that's why I uh, tend to be more of an LPer than a trader um, unless I'm feeling super bullish on something. So moving on. Uh, let's see, risk management, max utilization limit. These are all for the FLP side. I'm not gonna go through each one of these as there is a lot to go through, but uh, check this out if you're interested. Um, this is the interesting part about tokenomics. There's going to be a varied uh, token system. The FDX is going to be the native ecosystem governance token. This is what you're buying into essentially, right? When you, uh, when you get into the seed round, guys, you're buying some FDX. Um, and then uh, actually you're buying ES FDX and then it's vesting out um, is what I understand. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys in the comments below, but uh, FDX is the token. Um, you can, uh, the, you have different forms of that with the staked FDX LP, uh, different sort of uh, versions of that, but that's the main token there. The FLP, which is like I've said, the liquidity side of things, 45% uh, of platform fees will go to uh, the FLP, which is a nice high percentage there and distributes as USDC rewards in comparison to something like GMX that gave out ETH rewards. Um, ES FDX, an escrowed version of FDX that benefits from a share of revenue when staked. So this is the uh, what we're talking about when we, um, when we get that seed round token, it's going to be vested for us, but at least we're going to be earning those uh, perpetuals uh, fees um, as a part of that ES FDX staking. And then uh, there's F FP, which is flex points, is a reward token designed to benefit long-term supporters of the protocol. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to distribute that. Maybe more information will come out in the future on that. And then the FTC is actually flex trade credits, which uh, benefits the traders, which I like. This is a new thing that I haven't seen at GMX, guys. Um, perhaps they have it at HMX, but FTC sounds like a great uh, reward system for high activity traders. Um, our overarching strategy, conduct through uh, thorough market analysis to pinpoint the most promising blo uh, blockchain. They found that with the base chain, I do think base is going to be the L2 to win this cycle, especially with all the onboarding with uh, Coinbase's smart wallet and these sorts of things. Uh, strategically integrate cutting edge technology, which I believe is what they've already done with forking that HMX, right? Uh, cultivating a culture of learning from industry peers. This is cool. I think I'd like to be a part of this, guys. So, uh, so uh, you may see more content from me about uh, education specifically with perpetuals in LPing. Um, I, if, if you know me at all, guys, if you've watched this channel, you know I'm big into liquidity provision and I'm a yield farmer. So we'll definitely talk about that um, in regards to flex and FLP in the long term. Um, implement a dynamic marketing strategy. That's also part of what we're doing today here is we're, we're, we're marketing, guys. Um, if you sign up and if you, uh, you get into the seed round, you actually have the opportunity to have a, uh, a referral code that you can um, then make portion of uh, some of those tokens will actually come to you as a part of the process of marketing this uh, seed round. 
uh, maintain an unwavering commitment to continuous improvement, prioritizing um, ongoing platform development uh, to solidify Flex Perpetuals as a position and the premier choice of the base chain and beyond. I think that's fantastic. Again, I, I love the team behind this, guys. They are good people and have been in the space for a long time. This is huge um, and, and a huge part of the marketing effort. Aerodrome Finance will launch the uh, the FDX token and there will be a uh, perpetual, we'll launch our core FDX ETH LP on Aerodrome Finance. Um, if you know anything about Aerodrome and you know how big they are on the base chain, if you pop on a new uh, token on that, people will buy it up because of the LP opportunity. And that is a huge marketing opportunity, especially if they're bribing uh, well on the Aerodrome space. If you know anything about 3.3 DEXs, guys, um, uh, I love this. This is why this is a majority of the reason why I'm I'm investing in this is because those who uh, who know base and know how base works and know how aerodrome works, um, this is going to launch super strong because of how uh, how big of a marketing opportunity aerodrome finance is. So moving on, um, we've why we've chosen to leverage HMX technology, uh, best perp technology in the industry. I completely agree. I think they took the uh, GMX model and built on top of it, guys. Um, has proven a, a, a track record of success. I completely agree with you on that as well. They've done $27 billion in volume um, over, over that by now, actually. And then um, products are battle-tested, guys, so you get... A, uh, a firm foundation that's been audited um, by multiple uh, auditors, as well as high, highly experienced team that is going to be overseeing this and then marketing and community support. So HMX actually has a large community and they will be helping us market um, the Flex program on top of base as the uh, base specific fork, right, for the HMX uh, code. So uh, market overview, $3.4 billion in DeFi derivatives market. And a uh, that's that's total TVL for all of DeFi derivatives, which is what a perpetual index is. Um, according to DeFi Llama, uh, number 11, the derivatives category is number 11 on DeFi Llama, which is actually surprising, feels low to me. I think perpetual should be higher. Perhaps it will be. I think a lot of the top ones are more of those staking liquidity and that's why you get those higher tvls guys is because you know staking and uh restaking and all these narratives right now um uh lending obviously is a big one because people have to lend in order to borrow and you get higher tvls because of that but um it is a growing opportunity however so uh this is the derivative category um it has grown massively to over three billion dollars in us um, in uh, since July of 2022. And so we're heading into 24, we're getting a bull market going, guys, and I think this is a huge opportunity. Um, chain and derivative TVL comparison. So uh, total TVL of the chain is the purple, and uh, based on these, uh, these blue is the derivatives on these chains. So um, on Arbitrum, the blue uh, makes up, what, like a quarter of the TVL, of Arbitrum, that's GMX, HMX, and otherwise. Um, on Sol, it's very small. I think there could be more uh, competition in that space, but it, base looks great. So um, on the base chain, I, th I think that looks like, what, a seventh, maybe an eighth of the total TVL on base is in derivatives. So there's not a lot of competition there, guys. So there's a big, huge growth opportunity. In fact, the base chain is uh, eclipsing Arbitrum as far as transactions. Now Arbitrum is eclipsing on the TVL side, but there's a lot of uh, space to grow there. And again, with uh, with Coinbase and uh, Base is just a newer chain altogether. So I think there's a lot of opportunity. Now competitive landscape, um, I'm not super familiar with Vantis or Surf, but I am uh, familiar with Intent X. And gasless trading is the huge factor, guys. Um, actually, I actually do most of my trading currently on Avo, which is a on the super chain or an Arbitrum based uh, uh, layer two, and it uh, does gasless trading, guys. And I love it because you, um, what you do is you input your 
uh, your token that you would like to use as liquidity. In this case, you have uh, BTC, ETH, and USDC, which is all the collateral types, which uh, also gives you that uh, cross-margin collateral. So uh, whether you put in BTC, ETH, or USDC, you have cross-margin collateral, which is great, um, which is not the same on Intent X. You have to trade in USDC on these other uh, platforms. And you can trade derivatives with any of these as collaterals, which I think is super smart. Um, a lot of people want to hold on to their ETH, want to hold on to BTC. I think they want to grow these uh, platforms or their, their liquidity in these platforms, guys, or these different collateral types. So being able to uh, trade margin on these different collateral types and then just receive that in your, your payout is fantastic. Um, especially when you're sitting there with your if you're not trading guys and you're holding BTC or um, you're holding the uh, the price value of UTC uh, BTC as well so um, trading fees uh, are pretty low in comparison guys uh, zero to three basis points is the intent X uh, and it is gasless so there is a slight edge there for intent X as the uh, the average trading fee is um, pretty comparable a little bit lower on a 10x but uh super comparable here and that uh, collateral um, ability to have cross margin i think will give the edge there um, but in comparison to surf and avantis we're uh underpriced as far as the uh basis points for trading fees goes and then um, of course that's dynamic based on funding rates and all that but the base fee that goes to the uh the protocol uh, is 20 basis points to five basis points, which I think is uh, completely comparable with the uh, the large, uh, you know, the 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 competitors that we have on uh, the chain already. So, FDX allocations. This is the uh, the breakdown of the tokenomics, guys. So private sale, which is what we're currently in, right? Um, six month cliff with uh, released monthly over 18 months or a um, a uh, uh, you know, linear vest period of 18 months, um, there is going to be 33,000 or 350,000 tokens given to the private sale, which is what we're investing in. If you get into this at the end of the video, guys, um, and then we'll have a liquidity provision, the FLP surge, where um, people will put in money to be a part of the LPRs, and you get 5% of that allocation if you uh, are a part of that. And that's all based on liquidity. So um, you're, uh, both of these are actually based on, you know, whoever puts in the most of this gets the most of that 7%, right? Um, so the more you put in, the higher um, percent of allocation you get. Uh, the goal is to make, is to, uh, the current goal right now is to get up to 1.5 million. And I believe we're close to 490 as of right now. So um we're getting in at the ground floor and the higher that goes towards that 150 uh, million or 1.5 million dollar uh, goal, um, the more that allocation gets diluted. So, um, uh, but the more successful it can be in the future too. So um, I think I'll probably participate in the FLP surge as well as I'm a big LP here, but then community incentives, uh, th these will be released monthly over 12 months. I'm sure this will be an airdrop of sorts guys and that's already been uh mentioned so that's that's awesome uh token generation event there will be eight percent at uh the tge um i'm not sure uh how that's going to be maybe it's going to be in liquidity provision uh uh for you know that's probably eight percent that's going to be liquidity on um on aerodrome right team is taking 15 percent, which i think is a healthy uh team um, allocation, six month cliff and 30 month fast, which, uh, you know, helps us as private sailors to not get, uh, diluted too much by the team. And then, uh, since they have the same cliff period and a longer vest, they can't dump on us super quick. Um, but it gives them some, uh, cash flow if they need it. So that's great. And then ecosystem is 20%, 5% released immediately with the remaining 50% released monthly over three years, which I think this is probably going to be given out to, uh, so, uh, to stakers perhaps. I'm not sure how that's going to be distributed, but as incentives for the ecosystem use, which I think is great to keep, uh, c continuing to incentivize those who use the platform. So, um, that was something that was part of GMX. You made, uh, GMX tokens. If you were a staker of GMX 
and uh, it helps the APRs of stakers of that token. So uh, revenue distribution model, uh, protocol revenue is going to go to a development fund, the Flex LP, the stakers, as well as the protocol owned liquidity or the FLP. Um, so that's going to be uh, really great for all of these uh liquidity providers as well as, um, I'm sorry, that's not the FLP. This is the protocol owned liquidity or pull. That's going to be that, uh, that large amount of liquidity going to Aerodrome that will make some of the protocol revenue. Uh, the, uh, flex LP is the FLP. So 45% of protocol revenue will go that. So that's the largest percentage, um, going to FLP stakers. And then we also have the, uh, the ES, the, the staked, um, FP tokens, right, or um, FPX tokens, which will also generate 30% of protocol revenue between all of these different uh, variations of them. Um, we have emission rewards uh, go to FTC. I'm not sure what that is. That's emissions will be of, uh, you know, um, the, the extra tokens that are left over here, this uh, ecosystem uh, distribution, right? 20% will go to all of these different categories, flex up here's, um, stakers of these tokens, FTC token, open positions, uh, marketing airdrops, all of these uh, aerodrome bribes, all of this will be part of that 20% um, ecosystem, which I think is great. I think that's a great uh, way of uh, distributing for aerodrome, in particular making bribes. Um, I hope a huge percentage of that actually goes to that because that's marketing dollars, right? So the opportunity, guys, 100% ROI. HMX private investors have re uh, recouped over 100% of their investment from staking yields alone and continue to earn yields from their staked tokens. Uh, that's if, uh, I believe the HMX token is still uh, not completely vested. So if you're still um, being a part of that vesting uh, strategy or the, those initial investors, those seed resident investors, guys, they're not even a fully vested and they've already made 100% ROI on just the uh, recouped uh, staking yields, which is fantastic. And then on those tokens, uh, the price drop, the TGE price was 50 cents per HMX. Um, and then a current price, um, it says trading at $7 right now. If you jump into uh, here, and I'm gonna show you the HMX token on Dex Screener here, currently sitting at 590 um, with an all-time high of uh, nearly $12. So 1160, no, all-time high was actually closer to TGE at 18. So, but um, within the, uh, period of vesting guys we've had a pretty nice top at 11 um, that calculation of 14x was made at seven dollars which is kind of the the mean here right so um, that's a 14x from the tge that's a pretty great investment great strategy not financial advice but great strategy so let's get back into the pitch deck we have uh, launch schedule, public open beta, uh, duration 48 weeks. That hasn't been quite hit yet. We're, we're not quite there. We're still in the uh, funding round. But then um, two days of FDX and TGE. Um, users will have the ability to contribute to their assets and return for FDX. This will be done in the format of a fair auction, um, ensuring all participants. So that's the TGE uh, fair auction. Um, and then we have the FLP, FLP boost designed to bootstrap the Flex LP, which is great. Duration of three days there and then ongoing full scale launch. Um, currently launch is scheduled for somewhere in July, guys. So TGE in July and then all of these, um, the open beta and all that will be um, part of it. So um, we might even see the open beta a little bit sooner than, uh, than the TGE. So TGE being July, mid July, late July, somewhere in there. We should see the open public beta coming up soon. We'll do some video on that as well. All right, so here's the pitch. I'll leave it this screen up for just a second as I talk, but you can read this in your own time offline. But uh, let's get into uh, why I'm getting into this. Again, I love uh, HMX as a platform. GMX is a fantastic platform. Um, I uh, fully am... Um, backing uh, Crypto Stew as an, as the uh, the contact that I have over there at Flex. I think he does a great job. I have, think he has integrity. 
um, and that's why I'm interested here. I love perpetuals, especially on the LP side, guys. Um, I'm a yield farmer and LPs are where it's at, especially um, in high uh, volatility times, which by the time this gets out and um, is fully vested, we'll probably be heading into a cycle where this is going to be a great investment because um, bear markets are where we start to see some massive gains for LPs. And so as an LP -er and someone who's going to be gaining from those losses from those who are trading high leverage with a uh, downward trending market, I think this is a great opportunity. Like, I, I don't know if I would be interested in this if I was investing in this during the bear market because we'd be getting into the bull. And during the bull, guys, the traders make more money because they're winning their trades. I mean, obviously, um, you can shorten these things and, and lose money or make money during shorts, uh, but there's more, more longs than shorts typically overall, um, volume-wise, and especially with higher leverage. Uh, people are going to long and so they're they're um, making more fees for the platform and all this in uh, in the uh, bull market and then that all capitulates into LPs during um, the bear market so I'm excited for the term six month cliff which means we won't get any of these tokens after it after six months we'll be able to start selling if we want to but they'll be gaining rewards that that entire six months and then all of that 18 month uh vesting period uh leaner vest so you can take profit if you want to but you'll as long as you stake you'll be earning uh protocol rewards which is fantastic so um how do we invest so you can do this on two chains um i've uh i've created a um I've got a uh, referral code for the Arbitrum chain and you can pay in USDT USD, uh, there. And on the base chain, you can also uh, provide um, some assets in USDC. So USDC on base, USDT on Arbitrum. My code does work on the Arbitrum chain, but I'm gonna create a code right now and just show you how easy this is. You connect your wallet here. Um, when you when you first launch this, you connect your wallet. You make sure you're on Flex um, LP2, and then you put in a referral code that I'll give you. I'll put the both a base code and a Arbitrum code here, and then make sure you have some USDC on your wallet in your wallet on the base chain, USDT in your wallet on the Arbitrum chain. I've already put in $120 worth of uh, uh, USDT on Arbitrum. I'm going to put another $120 of USDC on uh, on the base chain here. I'm going to uh, be taking some profits from another protocol, another play that I'm running right now soon and probably dumping another thousand dollars into this just for full transparency, guys. Um, I'll be doing that before this is ending and I don't think we're going to see this end for a minute here. Uh, again, we're at like four, $490 in uh, seed rounds between um, both base and Arbitrum, almost almost 48, uh, 448,000. So the goal is 1.5 million, so we're about a third of the way there. There's gonna be plenty of time to get us um, there, and so I'm going to take some profits from some of the gains that I've made in some of my yield farms and bring them over here to invest some more. It shows here that I have 130 USDC in my wallet. Let's, let's go ahead and put it all in there. 130 USDC. Approve USDC. Approve this transaction in my wallet real quick here. All right, so I've approved the transaction of USDC and then we're gonna deposit that $130 in USDC. All right, now that I've made that deposit and it has been successful, it's added to my balance of FIP2. Um, I've got $120 in Arbitrum and $130 on base and it has generated a new referral co code for me. Um, which I will put into the description below. Again, these are specific to the blockchain you'd like to uh, add um, your uh, investment onto. So uh, be sure to uh, make sure that you're using the right code on the right chain. Again, USDC on base, USDT on Arbitrum. Um, I hope you like the content, guys. I wanted to share this opportunity with you. Um, full transparency, again, this was uh, paid for by the team at Flex as they are getting ready to launch this. They wanted to make sure and uh, get some uh, get some marketing dollars put towards this uh, this investment, guys. 
But uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. And uh, thank you so much for watching and God bless.